Hello, my name is Brittany Smith and I am a doctoral student from the Kent State University Exercise Physiology Program. Today I will be presenting a scientific proposal entitled The Effects of Stiffness and Rider Performance on Entropy of Cadence During Dynamic Cycling. Before I get into the details of the study, I wanted to provide some significance on why the study is being proposed. Parkinson's disease is a neurological condition that affects movement in the form of tremor, bradykinesia, also known as slowness of movement, and other characteristics such as muscle stiffness and a reduced cognitive function. Many individuals with Parkinson's disease also experience a loss of independence and heavily rely on caregivers. Exercise has been heavily studied in this population to find interventions to treat the deficits associated with Parkinson's disease. In a study published in 2015, Rigel et al. investigated the effects of dynamic cycling and static cycling on motor symptom improvement in Parkinson's disease. The dynamic cycle is a motorized programmable stationary bicycle which was designed for individuals with Parkinson's disease based upon the forced exercise paradigm. In this study, the dynamic cycle group cycled at 75 to 85 revolutions per minute and the static group rode at a self-selected speed with no motor assist. As a result, the dynamic cycling group saw a significant reduction in UPDRS score. UPDRS is a widely used clinical measure for motor function and impairment. A lower score is indicative of less motor impairment. These results show that dynamic cycling at a high cadence is associated with motor symptom improvement in Parkinson's disease. This improvement is thought to be due to a higher sample entropy of cadence in dynamic cycling than static cycling. Sample entropy is a measure used to quantify variability and predictability. However, it's currently unknown how the stiffness or resistance levels of the dynamic cycle, as well as rider performance, alter the entropy of cadence. The purpose of this study is to determine how stiffness settings and individual rider performance on the dynamic smart bike affect sample entropy of cadence. Understanding these relationships will help to better compare these variables to the Parkinson's disease population, as well as prescribe appropriate exercise prescriptions to individuals with differing Parkinson's disease severity. For the methodology for this proposal, we will be recruiting healthy adults ages 18 to 39 years old of varying cycling abilities. We will then ask each participant to ride on the dynamic smart bicycle at 80 revolutions per minute for five minutes at each of the six stiffness or resistance levels. Second by second, speed and power data will then be recorded during the entire exercise bout. That data will then be entered into an entropy of cadence algorithm in MATLAB. The sample entropy of cadence will then be analyzed for all participants. A few results that we expect to see from this proposal include that sample entropy of cadence will decrease with increasing stiffness, Sample entropy of cadence will be greater in individuals who have more experience with cycling. And lastly, that individuals with Parkinson's disease will show the greatest sample entropy of cadence at the lowest stiffness settings. While we know that dynamic cycling yields significant motor improvement in people with Parkinson's disease, the value that this specific study proposal provides is that once we understand how stiffness and rider performance influences entropy of cadence in healthy populations, we can then better compare these variables to the Parkinson's disease population. Further, understanding specifically how stiffness and cadence drive entropy and motor improvement will help us to prescribe exercise for Parkinson's disease patients. Specifically, exercise parameters can be prescribed to Parkinson's disease patients depending on differing disease severity to optimize motor improvement or to drive and maximize entropy. This slide features my references. 
I would like to thank you for attending my presentations and I'm happy to take any questions at this time. Thank you.